programming knowledge. So in this tutorial we are going to learn how to retrieve our data from cloud firestore. So for this I have created a sample document in my firestore. I have named the collection as cities and inside that I have added five documents BJ, DC, LA, SF and TOK and all of these have these details BJ is for Beijing and its country is China it is the capital true this is the population over there now let's try downloading this details in our program so for that I'll go to my main activity and in my main activity I'll write I'll create a document reference variable document ref I'll call it docref and I'll initialize it by writing firebase firestore dot get instance dot collection cities dot document and let's give the document parts let's say sf that is for san francisco so I am writing the document name over here as s and f Now to get the value present in this document we use the keyword get. So I'll write docref dot get dot add on complete listener new on complete listener. Now I'll check if the task is successful so I'll write if task dot is successful then I'll get the document in the form of document snapshot. So I'll create a document snapshot variable and call it a doc and I'll get a task dot get result. And now let me check if this document exists or not. So I'll write if doc dot exists then I'll just log it. So I'll write log dot d and I'll write document and then over here I'll write doc dot get data that returns the data inside the document snapshot. else I log no data now let's try running it so I'll click on the run button over here and open the log cat to see the logs and wait for the gradle build to finish so there is a compilation error over here which says that oh so I need to convert it to string so I'll write over here dot to string. Now the error will be gone let's try running it again. So once the gradle build has finished and the app has started running we can see in our log cat we have got the document over here and it has the value name as San Francisco state as CA capital as false and population as this much country as USA and regions and in regions we get an array list of west coast and Norcal which is similar to what we have in our SF document over here the capital is false country is USA name is San Francisco population is exactly the same number as we have seen in our log cat then it has another region list and it has two values west coast and Norcal and the state is CA so this is how we download the values from cloud firestore to our app now suppose we want to download some 
documents based on some condition let's say for example i only want to download those cities which which are the capital of their respective country for let's say beijing which is the capital of china and tokyo which is the capital of japan so to do this we write we don't need this in our program right now i'll write firebase firestore dot get instance dot collection cities and then to check the condition i'll write dot where equal to capital and true which means where capital is equal to true i'll get those values and i'll add an on complete listener and over here i'll check if the task is successful and if the task is successful i'll run a for each loop so for that i'll write for query document snapshot i'll name it doc and to get the iterable we write task dot get result and <coughs> and over here we can log the details so i'll write log dot d document and over here i'll write doc dot get id which is a unique id of the document plus an arrow plus doc dot get data and now let's try running it so i'll click on the run button open the lock cat and wait for the gradle build to finish so once the app has started running you can see we have three documents over here and they have their id and then the details in this case the id id is the name of the document and the details are exactly the same as we have in our database so this is how we download data based on some conditions now suppose we want to add a real time listener to any one of the document present in our collection let's say i want to add a real time listener to my la document so what i am going to do is first i am going to remove these quotes as i don't need them anymore and then i'll write document the document name and then i'll write dot add snapshot listener new event listener and then over here we can do all the task that we want to do this is very similar to value event listener which we had in our real time database So this is it about Fire Cloud Firestore. I hope everything was clear. Thank you.